Okay. Yeah, I've been. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm just gonna go. Let me get a couple. See, I should wait till Pete comes back, right? Is he coming back? <laughs> I don't see him. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Vanya is coming in. She's just chatting. Oh, can I? Oh, should I wait for Vanya? Uh, can she? I don't know if she can get by there. Should I wait for Vanya to sit down or? Okay. 
Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm Susan Etner. I am the Dean of Graduate Education at UCLA and also a professor in the David Geffen School of Medicine and in the Fielding School of Public Health. Um, I use she, her pronouns, and it's great to see all of you. Um, before we begin, I would like to note that this event is being recorded so that nominees and awardees who are unable to attend may view the ceremony at their convenience. I would like to open this award ceremony by acknowledging that UCLA, like all campuses in the UC system, is a land-grant institution. This means that it resides on land that was historically the homeland of indigenous peoples. Let us acknowledge the Gabrielino Tongva peoples as the traditional land caretakers of Tovangar, the Los Angeles Basin, and South Channel Islands. Let us pay our respects to the Hanuk Batom ancestors, Ahihiram elders, and Iohinkam, our relatives past, present, and emerging. I'm delighted to welcome everyone to the California Nanosystem Institute's auditorium to celebrate the remarkable accomplishments of the nominees and recipients of the 2023 Chancellor's Award for Postdoctoral Research. We will also be recognizing the outstanding faculty identified by the Postdoctoral Association at UCLA for the Excellence in Mentoring Award. The work done by postdoctoral fellows and their mentors is critical to UCLA's mission of education, research, and service. Postdoctoral scholars at UCLA are brilliant, skilled, creative, and passionate. You are researchers and teachers engaging with your mentors, colleagues, and students in discovering and advancing knowledge and practice. Your dedication enables you to be productive researchers and innovative thinkers whose discoveries affect people around the world and contribute to UCLA's tradition of excellence. As a graduate dean and a professor, I am particularly aware of the impact that you, our postdoctoral scholars, have on our undergraduate and graduate students. You guide and mentor them in the classroom and the laboratory. You teach them how to design experiments and impart your practical skills. You demonstrate critical analytical thinking and provide essential feedback on proposals, papers, and presentations. You are teachers, coaches, critics, and cheerleaders. You are extraordinary role models for our undergraduate and graduate students who look to you as experts in the field and aspire to your success. Everyone here today understands the fundamental role that postdoctoral scholars play in expanding research and enhancing the institutional profile of the university, both nationally and globally. So often, it is the postdocs who are at the leading edge of discoveries, conceptualization, and development of advanced techniques. Although you tend to be in the background, doing the vital work that drives the engines of research and teaching on our campus, Today, we shine the spotlight on your myriad contributions and profound impact. Today, we celebrate and honor your hard work and dedication. In turn, like our postdoctoral scholars, our faculty mentors play a crucial role in fulfilling UCLA's purpose as a globally recognized research university that creates, disseminates, preserves, and applies knowledge for the betterment of our global society. We want to recognize how often you go above and beyond to ensure that our postdoctoral scholars enjoy a successful experience here at UCLA. Your encouragement and guidance allow us as an institution to develop, on, to, sorry, to deliver on the promise of a postdoc experience that is rich and rewarding. Faculty, we celebrate you, your mentorship, and your contributions to our community. I would also like to acknowledge that today's event and the awards have been made possible by many campus sponsors. In addition to the Division of Graduate Education, they include the following. Ron Brookmeyer, Dean, Fielding School of Public Health. Christina Christie, Dean, School of Education and Information Studies. Steve Dubinet, Dean, David Geffen School of Medicine. Miguel Garcia Garabay, Dean, Division of Physical Sciences. Helena Hansen, Interim Director, Semmel Institute. Tracy Johnson, Dean, Division of Life Sciences. Paul Krebsbach, 
Dean, School of Dentistry, Jeff Miller, Director, California Nanosystems Institute, Alyssa Park, Dean, Samueli School of Engineering and Applied Science, Abel Valenzuela, Interim Dean, Division of Social Sciences, and Roger Wakimoto, Vice Chancellor for Research and Creative Activities. Please join me in thanking them for supporting postdoctoral scholarship at UCLA. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize the Division of Graduate Education staff who work with postdoctoral scholars, who have coordinated these awards, or who have helped with this event. In alphabetical order by last name, Sandra Alvarez, Onya Ra, Estrella Arceba, Araceli Bariga, Pete Clues, Ivy Ibuen, Francesca Gacho, Courtney Guevara, Renata Lux, Paris McDonald, Kristen McKinney, Scott Olson, Vanya Sholini, Lewis Smith, and Daniel Wong. <laughs> it does take a village. Um, I also want to acknowledge our mentor award partners in the Postdoctoral Association at UCLA, <clears throat> whom you'll meet later, Valeria Gonzalez and Martin Tadari. I would now like to play a brief video from Roger Wakimoto, Vice Chancellor for Research and Creative Activities at UCLA. Roger began his tenure as the Vice Chancellor at UCLA in July 2017. Vice Chancellor Wakimoto could not be here to celebrate with us today, but we're grateful that he has sent a message that we can share with all of you. Hi, I'm Roger Wakimoto and I'm the Vice Chancellor for Research. It is truly an honor to be here to celebrate our postdoctoral fellows. I never had the pleasure of being a postdoc, and it's something that I truly regret since it's such a valuable experience. However, UCLA offered me a faculty position, so I decided that was the career path that I would take. <laughs> I know that you sometimes feel that you're not recognized at the same level as faculty and students, but I can assure you that everyone in this room greatly appreciates your invaluable contribution to UCLA's research enterprise. You are independent thinkers. You produce results that are seminal. You collaborate with other scholars. And you make UCLA a better institution by your presence. I also want to highlight the importance of being a mentor. Indeed, mentors have profoundly impacted my career. I want to applaud all of you that have taken the time to mentor someone during your career. Congratulations to all of you. Again, our sincerest gratitude to Vice Chancellor Wakimoto for taking the time to record this video. Each year, this event allows us to publicly recognize the remarkable contributions our postdoctoral scholars make to the intellectual life of UCLA and celebrate their discoveries and the impact they're having on the world. There are currently about 945 postdoctoral fellows on campus. The 38 nominees we honor today represent a tiny fraction of that total. At this time, I would like to welcome Australia Arceba, Assistant Dean for Academic and Postdoctoral Services in the Division of Graduate Education. Australia will announce the names of the nominees for the Chancellor's Award for Postdoctoral Research as they join me on the stage. We will then announce the winners of this year's postdoctoral awards, who will be invited to come forward to make brief remarks. Good afternoon. Nominees, as I call your name and department, please come to the stage, receive your certificate, and face the audience for a photo with Dean Susan Utner. Pranav Agrawal, Civil and Environmental Engineering. Justine Bile, Radiation Oncology. <laughs> K. 
Kendra Calhoun, Anthropology. Douglas Chapsky, Anesthesiology and Perioperative Medicine. <laughs> Tonoy Das, Civil and Environmental Engineering. <laughs> Abhisek Data, Physics and Astronomy. Shin Chao Ke, Statistics and Data Science. <laughs> Daniel Gray, Physiology. <laughs> Sharu Gupta, Management. Daniel Sung Min Ha, Institute for Quantitative and Computational Biosciences. <laughs> Eleanor Hayes Larson, Epidemiology. Rani Hazim, Ophthalmology. <laughs> Kelsey Jorgensen, Anthropology. Pedram Keshavars, Radiological Sciences. <laughs> Srivatsav Kunawalkam Elayavali, Institute for Pure and Applied Mathematics. Cynthia Custers, Epidemiology. <laughs> Charlie Yanreed Lee, Microbiology, Immunology, and Molecular Genetics. <laughs> Bao Cheng Lu. Chemistry and Biochemistry. <laughs> Xiao Yu Lu, Microbiology, Immunology, and Molecular Genetics. <laughs> Yun Tao Lu. California Nanosystems Institute. <laughs> Patricia Marcos, History. <laughs> Leila Medzikovic. Anesthesiology and Perioperative Medicine. Rudy Mondragon, Institute for Research on Labor and Employment. Daniel Moriarty, 
Psychiatry and Biobehavioral Sciences. Monty Neat Clegg, Ecology and Evolutionary Biology. <laughs> Eliza Negrini, Institute for Pure and Applied Mathematics. Harry Pickering, Pathology and Laboratory Medicine. <laughs> Nir Pilar, Electrical and Computer Engineering. <laughs> Gun Chu, Electrical and Computer Engineering. Fernando Race, Psychology. <laughs> Bernalyn Reese Yu, Psychiatry and Biobehavioral Sciences. Shandani Sen, Pediatrics. <laughs> Scott Smart, Chemistry and Biochemistry. Cheng Zong Wan, Material Science and Engineering. <laughs> Zong Wan, Chemistry and Biochemistry. E.J. Wang, Cardiology. <laughs> Taylor Webb, Psychology. <laughs> and Zhu Xiao. Pathology and Laboratory Medicine. <laughs> Once again, congratulations to all of our postdoc award nominees. We will now present the winners of this year's award. This year, the committee has selected eight scholars to receive the Chancellor's Award for Postdoctoral Research, which consists of a plaque and a $7,500 prize. In selecting the awardees, the committee considered each nominee's innovation and creativity, distinction, scholarly productivity, leadership, and the impact of the nominee's research. On behalf of the committee, I can tell you that it was both fascinating and exciting for them to learn about your work, and that it was challenging to make the selection. You are all highly valued members of our UCLA community. Now, for the recipients of the Chancellor's Award for Postdoctoral Scholars. Awardees, as I call your name and department, please come to the stage, receive your plaque, and face the audience for a photo with Dean Atner before coming to the podium to make your remarks. Are we ready? <laughs> Nir Pilar, Electrical and Computer Engineering.
Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's a great honor to be here today and receive this prestigious award. Uh, I'm mainly trained as a clinician. I am an anatomic pathologist with a background of molecular biology. Uh, growing up, I always thought I would become an engineer. So uh, being here under the School of Engineering at UCLA seems like a, a dream come true, at least to my own teenager. In my research, I am focused on what we call virtual tissue staining. We are taking label-free tissue sections and using deep learning methodologies, we transform those tissues into their stained versions without using any chemicals or stains. This innovative technology is applied to various unmet needs in pathology today with increased accuracy, reducing processing time, and reducing cost. I would like to thank, first of all, to my mentor, Professor Eidwan Oskan, who, under his inspiring ideas, guidance, and support, made this all come true. Second, I would like to thank my wonderful lab members. Uh, together, we formed a team that can tackle those unmet needs in pathology, and without them, I can do practically nothing. And last, not least, to my family, my wife, Shanine, my two lovely daughters, who keep supporting me and pushing me ahead. Thank you. Our next awardee, Kendra Calhoun, Anthropology. read so I can stay on time here. Um, so I'll start by saying thank you to the selection committee for recognizing me and my work during my time here at UCLA. Um, thank you to my mentor, Sammy Aleem, and also to Professor Norma Mendoza-Denton for my nomination for this award. To the President's Postdoctoral Fellowship Program, which made my time here at UCLA possible. Um, and to the Department of Anthropology for being my intellectual home, but I want to give a special shout out to C. Black for offering me really invaluable community um, during my time here at UCLA. So at the heart of my research is the relationship between language and power, whether that language is on social media and stand-up comedy routines or on university campuses. I'm interested in how language is used to perpetuate ideologies that shape how we see and understand the world around us, how it's a tool for sustaining status quo systems of oppression through normalization and minimization. I'm equally interested in how language is used to subvert and undermine these same systems, how people find strategies in their everyday lives to poke holes in the ideas that are used to justify their subjugation, to how language becomes a tool for resistance, for community building, and adamant affirmation of the humanity of minoritized peoples. So I would be remiss to receive an award that recognizes this research without taking this moment to say free Palestine, free Democratic Republic of Congo, free Hawaii, free Sudan, free Puerto Rico, free Haiti, free all people fighting against centuries of colonialism, imperialism, dehumanization, and indifference here in the US and around the world. Thank you. Daniel Moriarty, Psychiatry and Biobehavioral Sciences. I'm also going to read to keep myself on time. Uh, so thank you very much for this honor. Uh, I'd like to use the majority of this opportunity to speak, uh, to say some much needed words of gratitude. First and foremost, I'd like to thank God and my family for their support, motivation, and the opportunities that make my work possible. Specifically, my mother Terry and my father Tom, and my stepmom Barb, my little brother Connor, my grandma and grandpa, Betty and Bruce, 
and of course my amazing wife Uma and the family I inherited through her, Lena, Vikram, and Ohm. I would also like to thank my graduate mentor, Dr. Lauren Alloy, and my postdoc mentor, Dr. George Slavish, for pushing me to grow and giving me the freedom to develop my own independent research program under their mentorship. And of course, thank you to Dr. Helena Hansen and the entire psychiatry and biobehavioral sciences team that nominated me for this award. And finally, a massive thank you to my team of RAs, without whom my work here at UCLA would not have been possible. Uh, and finally, thank you for this recognition. I promise to work diligently to improve the methodological rigor in biological psychiatry and the behavioral sciences and making sure that precision medicine principles become the norm in psychology and psychiatry. Thank you very much. Our next awardee, Leila Medzikovic, Anesthesiology and Perioperative Medicine. by saying that I cannot express how honored I am to receive this award. Um, I think as scientists and as postdocs in particular, we're always um, used to striving for excellence, fighting our way to the top, and inherently that comes with a lot of difficult moments, like when our experiment doesn't work or our manuscript gets a bad review or our grant isn't uh, funded. But there's a lot of moments that counterbalance these difficult moments, and all these successes are therefore that much sweeter. Um, for me, the, uh, receiving this award uh, is such an honor to be recognized for my work as a postdoc student, and it's something I will cherish uh, for the rest of my life. And I couldn't have done this alone, so there's some people that I really want to thank specifically. Um, first of all, the committee for, uh, for choosing me to receive this award. My mentor, Dr. Masura Bali, um, who's been so supportive since I entered the lab five years ago from a different country, and I couldn't have done it without your guidance. Um, the chair of our department, Dr. Maktim Kanason, for his uh, continuing support. My lab members, who are all such great, smart, and hardworking people, and I'm so happy to call you guys my friends as well. Uh, my other collaborators at UCLA and at the department. Um, my family, who's always been my rocks through everything. And last but not least, my amazing husband and my wonderful daughter, who support me in everything that I do. And you guys bring me so much joy. Thank you so much. E. J. Wang, cardiology. First and foremost, I would like to express my gratitude to the Department of Medicine, UCLA Division of Graduate Dedication and Selection Committee for the recognition of my work. Back in 2017, when I began my postdoc at UCLA, I didn't see anything particular talent or lucky about myself, but my mentor, Dr. Arjun Dab, had a different perspective. He, in, mm, he in trusted me with to uh, two extremely challenging projects. Once I had the stock the scientists for decades, I questioned myself, an ordinary person could succeed where the brightest mind had failed. Taking on these seemingly impossible tasks marked a significant turning point in my career. Dr. Depp's belief in me boosted my confidence to tackle these challenges. His guidance and mentorship were crucial in shaping me into the researcher I am today. I came to understand that with hard work, dedication, and the right guidance, I could push the boundary of scientific knowledge. The journey was not easy, but it was incredibly rewarding. I want to thank Dr. Arjun Dab, his broad knowledge, his way of thinking, and his excavation ability have had a profound impact on me. He is a demanding PI, but with a warm heart. <laughs> 
especially when the pandemic hits. I had my first baby, no one come to help me. Dr. Deb helped me to arrange my experiment and never put me in the situation to choose in between family and career. He is like a magician who made my dream come true. I would like to thank our excellent collaborator, uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Aus uh, Ricardo Auschwitz in the Department of Anesthesiology. He know me when the first day I entered UCLA like a baby. <laughs> and uh, Professor Jilin Xu in Department of Medicine and Professor Zhen Song and my other colleagues who generously assisted me and expanded my vision to beautifully complete the project done. I also want to thank my husband, Ji Jun Huang, who is not only my life partner, but also my role model. He always let me believe I'm the best from the every day. I want to thank my daughter, Dorothy, and my son, Emerson, who have taught me about the miracles and the patience. I want to thank my parents, who give me endless support. Hi, Dorothy. <laughs> I want to thank my parents who gave me endless support without any expectation of repayment. In the end, I want to say that for a long time, I believed that only talented people could achieve something great. However, my journey told me that th it's not a uh, talent is not something that you are born with, it's something you develop. The most uh, remarkable transformation are the result of the persistence of ordinary individuals who refuse to give up. I hope my story can inspire people who doubt themselves and hesitate to keep going. Good luck that happened to me today will eventually happen to you. Thank you. Our next awardee, Rudy Mondragon, Institute for Research on Labor and Employment. Hello, everybody. Uh, well, I just want to say thank you to the selection committee, um, to uh, the Division of Graduate Education. And uh, I mean, just sitting here, I got here late. Sorry about that. Um, but just listening to all the nominees and the great research that you all are doing is definitely impressive and makes me feel like, ah, oh, damn, like I'm here with y'all. So <laughs> just want to give them a shout out, too, um, before I talk about my thing, I guess. Um, I, I do research that's at the intersection of the sociology of race and sport and comparative ethnic studies. And I look at the political economy of the sport of boxing and I situate boxers as workers who are designated as independent contractors in a very bifurcated gig economy, not just in California, but in the world. And I situate them as workers because boxers that don't make it to the upper echelons of the sport never get uh, the attention that they deserve from the public audience. And so I dedicate a lot of my research to the athletes that we don't see in the arena of boxing and how they claim dignity and joy and navigate a very treacherous, hyper-capitalistic um, economy that I call the brutal economy of boxing. In 1992, my dad, Rufino Mondragon, introduced me to boxing. And that is when I fell in love with the sport, but also when my research was born. Um, so I'm very indebted to my dad, and I thank him for that. My mom, Alicia Mondragon, I'm very thankful for her because no matter how wild my dreams were and how rebellious I was as a kid, um, she was always there unconditionally supporting me and loving me. So thank you for my mom. <clears throat> and um, at UCLA, I want to thank Dr. Gay Teresa Johnson, who always believed in my research. My research is not something that has a lot of scholarship, especially in ethnic studies. And so big shout out to her for believing in the work and seeing value in it. Um, Dr. Tobi Tobias Higby for nominating for me for this award and providing me with a lot of great help during the job market. Um, and the Institute for the Research on Labor and Employment. This is a new fold to my research. Um, I originally started uh, examining boxing ring entrances and how boxers perform resistance via the ring walk with their music, with their fashion. And meeting Dr. Abel Valenzuela, my mentor uh, for this postdoc, he pushed me to begin to look at the political economy of the sport. And it's taken us to 
new heights. And now I'm presenting research to the California State Athletic Commission with the hopes of raising the minimum purse for all boxers in the state of California. And so that's something I'm very proud of. And so I thank them for that. Um, I also want to thank my partner who's here today, Tiffany Vaught and Andy, her daughter, big shout out to them because they um, put up with my endless conversations about boxing, the political economy, and I subject them to all the pay-per-view boxing matches I can get. So thank you so much, everybody. Appreciate it. Srivatsav Kunawalkam Aliyavali, Institute for Pure and Applied Mathematics. Hi, uh, good afternoon. Um, sorry. Um, uh, yeah, so I, I work in uh, an area called uh, von Neumann algebras. Uh, so this was initiated by John von Neumann uh, in the 30s. Uh, it underpins the, the formation of uh, the mathematical foundations of quantum physics, but now has blossomed into uh, um, a very interesting area of research. Uh, so firstly, I would like to thank um, sincerely uh, the committee for, for choosing me for this prestigious award. And I accept it with great excitement and gratitude. Uh, I would like to dedicate this award to my family, uh, my father, um, Ranganathan, who recently celebrated his 60th birthday and his retirement, uh, leaving behind a very impactful career spanning close to 40 years in the industry in Chennai, India. Uh, my sibling, Raghav, uh, who is an assistant professor of physics. Uh, we, we have a lot of clashes uh, between us uh, at, at Vanderbilt University. Uh, and, and his uh, wife, Amanda, uh, and my sister-in-law, Amanda, who's a designer. Uh, and uh, above all, my mother, Vidya, who shines as a bright light always in my mind. Uh, secondly, I would like to thank my mentors, Professor, uh, professors Dimash Laktenko uh, and Sorin Popa. Uh, they have both been very valuable to my growth. Uh, I deeply cherish the many conversations I, I have had with them, uh, both mathematical and professional. Uh, I thank my friends in the Los Angeles area who extended uh, a helping hand uh, during a very difficult time that I went through in the spring, uh, Forte Shinko, uh, Parama Sigurdsson, uh, the folks at Chennai Defense, uh, and, and most importantly, uh, my dearest Panda Express. <laughs> uh, I thank my, my mathematical comrades, co colleagues, and collaborators, starting with my, my PhD advisor uh, and role model, uh, Jesse Peterson, uh, my best friend, uh, Brent Nelson, Ben Hayes, Adrian Joanna, uh, Yonut Skifan, Changying Ding, David Jekyll, uh, Isaac Goldbring, Jenny Pai, um, Hui Tan, and Greg Patchell for inspiring me with their knowledge and expertise. I especially owe a mathematical debt to Ben Hayes, whose vision and insights have inspired a large portion of my work that I completed in UCLA. Uh, I am forever devoted uh, to the residing gods of the Malibu Hindu temple for hosting a place of spiritual and musical solace for me every weekend. Last but not the least, Everything I am today is because of my divine instrument, the veena, which is a South Indian string instrument that I play, uh, and my greatest inspiration, Dr. S. Balachandar. Words cannot describe the connection I have forged with his mind from a distant past. Despite me being born six years after his passing, his ideas continue to shape not only my music, but also every other walk of my life, including my mathematics. Thank you very much. And finally, we'd like to recognize Yun Tao Lu from the California Nanosystems Institute. Unfortunately, Dr. Lu is unable to join us this evening, but we'll accept the award on their behalf and give, him, give them a round of applause for the recognition.
Congratulations to all of our postdoctoral scholar awardees. It's my pleasure to welcome back Dean Etner for the introduction of our next presenters. Thank you so much, Australia. Congratulations again to our exceptional postdocs, both those who won awards and those who were nominated. You are truly the best and the brightest, and we are honored that you chose UCLA for this phase of your training. I'm now delighted to move on to the part of the ceremony that honors the faculty who devote their time and energy to helping our postdocs achieve their tremendous potential. 11 years ago, the UCLA Society of Postdoctoral Scholars created a new award that honors our faculty for their outstanding mentoring of postdoctoral scholars. Today, the postdoctoral, scholar, sorry, the postdoctoral association at UCLA continues that tradition. I am pleased to introduce Valeria Gonzalez and Martin Tadari, who will introduce and present the awards for outstanding postdoctoral mentors. Valeria Gonzalez is a postdoctoral scholar in psychology and chair of the Postdoctoral Association at UCLA. Martin Tadari is a postdoctoral scholar in physics and vice chair of operations of the Postdoctoral Association at UCLA. Valeria, please come up to the podium. Good afternoon. Today we gather here to celebrate a profound and transformative aspect of academia, one that often remains unrecognized but is certainly the backbone of our educational institution, mentorship. These awards offer postdoctoral scholars a unique opportunity to express their heartfelt gratitude to the faculty members who have left an indelible mark on their lives. Mentorship, whether informal or formal, presents an intrinsic pillar of our academic ecosystem. It is essential responsibility that faculty members should with honor, but they are entrusted with the pivotal task of nurturing the next generation of independent scientists and scholars. We must acknowledge and reward those who invest their time, wisdom, and dedication into becoming exemplary uh, mentors. Often, we embark on this journey without formal training, despite it being one of the most critical and perhaps one of the most gratifying roles in higher education. Here, within the walls of UCLA, we're fortunate to be surrounded by a multitude of good mentors. Yet, amongst them, there are those who have gone above and beyond, transcending the ordinary to achieve excellency in postdoctoral mentorship. They understand that their role extends far beyond the classroom or research. It is a commitment to guide, nurture, and support their postdocs while ensuring that each individual feels seen and heard. They recognize that each of us navigate unique challenges and harbors distinct dreams. The selection committee faced a difficult task in deciding who among those exceptional mentors should receive the awards. Rest assured, if you find yourself here today because you were nominated, you have left a profound mark on the life of your postdocs, an impact that resonates far beyond these walls. I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to all of you in this room for your strong commitment, for being champions of your postdocs, and for recognizing that a postdoctoral scholar is not merely a trainee, but a value and respected young colleague. Let us continue to champion mentorship as a two-way street, one where we learn, grow, and empower each other. Together, we can foster a community that thrives in collaboration, diversity, and inclusion, creating an academic environment that not only values excellency, but also embraces the unique stories and experiences that each of us brings to the table. Thank you once again for your dedication and let us carry forward the torch of mentorship, illuminating the path for those who followed in our footsteps. Before I introduce this year's nominees and awardees, Martina and I would like to thank our other members of the selection committee uh, that are part of the Postdoctoral Association, Tanya Gupta, Francis Staples, and Arpita Dave. Thank you, guys. Now I will introduce our nominees in alphabetical order. While Martin goes to the stage, <laughs> give it a minute to go to the stage, to hand out the certificate. As they call your name, please come up to the stage to receive your certificate and pose for a fancy picture. <laughs> Paul Boutros, Human Genetics. <laughs> Lu
Laura Denardo, Physiology. <laughs> Julie Faigon, Chemistry and Biochemistry. Elisa Franco, Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. Bridget Gompertz, Pediatrics, Hematology, and Oncology. Melody Lee, Microbiology, Immunology, and Molecular Genetics. Shalee Mahendra, Civil and Environmental Engineering. <laughs> Elizabeth Rose Mayeda, Epidemiology. <laughs> Sanjay Mohanty, Civil and Environmental Engineering. Gary Orfield, Education. <laughs> Nicole Peterson, Psychiatry and Bio Behavioral Sciences. <laughs> Maureen, sorry, Maureen Sue, Microbiology, Immunology, and Molecular Genetics. Irina Blashi, Radiation Oncology. <laughs> Kun Yu Wang, Oral and Systemic Health Sciences. <laughs> Kate Wasson, Psychology. <laughs> Chia Yang, Integrative Biology and Physiology. Si Hong Su, Microbiology, Immunology, and Molecular Genetics. <laughs> I will now announce the awardees. As I call your name, we would like both the professor awardee and the postdoc nominator, if you're here, to please come up to the stage, receive your plaque, and face the audience for a photo with Martin before going to the podium to make your remarks. <laughs> Elizabeth Rose Mayeda. Epidemiology, nominated by Eleanor Hayes Lerson and Paloma Rojas. Thank you. Um, I'd like to start by thanking the Postdoctoral Association, the Graduate Division, and the um, Awarding Committee, and of course, my brilliant postdocs, Dr. Eleanor Hayes Larson and Dr. Paloma Rojas Sanero. Um, I really enjoyed my time as a postdoc. I felt that I had protected time to grow as a scientist, and I was truly nurtured, and I really valued that time. But when I was a postdoc, I sometimes wondered, I had these brilliant, generous mentors, am I really deserving of them? So I had this imposter syndrome. And then when I moved on to faculty and was lucky enough to be in a position to recruit postdocs, I start, you know, I have these brilliant and, and generous postdocs. I have imposter syndrome thinking, what have I done to deserve to work with such wonderful <laughs> scholars? And I just wanna say like what a gift it is to be in a position that I have any imposter syndrome about whether I'm you know, a strong enough scientist to work with these brilliant scientists. So I just want to say that um, Eleanor and Paloma um, 
You are so, uh, you're such brilliant scientists and generous collaborators. You make our whole research group stronger through your individual research projects you lead, as well as the mentorship that you provide to the more junior members of our group. And you've helped make me the scientist and mentor that I am today. Thank you so much for the opportunity to, to work with you. And I can't wait for our you know, continued collaborations as well as seeing all of the ma major scientific contributions I know that you'll each make throughout your careers. Thank you so much. Our second awardee is Paul Boutrous, Human Genetics, nominated by Beth Nielsen and Ronnie Haas. I think Paul is now here. <laughs> so with that, we're gonna end it. Thank you again and congratulations to our mentors. Thank you so much again, everybody, for joining us this afternoon to honor our postdoctoral community. I would like to ask the awardees to remain in the auditorium and come up to the stage for some group photos.